Hold on. Is this thing on? Cool. All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Jason Lore here with Jason Lore Photography and Films. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I'm actually outside right now in Elk Grove, California, uh, out in the park. So, all right, um, welcome to the first episode of uh, uh, Weekend Walk. So basically, um, it's just, you know, me taking a walk after a long week at work. It can be pretty tiring a lot of times and you know, sometimes you just need to take a walk. I mean, <laughs> you hear that saying a lot all the time, too. It's like, hey, dude, you need to take a walk. And you know what? Other than walking, too, and getting some fresh air and just seeing, you know, the sceneries, you know, I can do either parks or hiking trails. But, um, the whole point is, like, just, it's nice to get out, too, and just see what life has to offer. And... You know, I'd say this is a great opportunity as well, you know, to talk with um, all you guys, too, who are watching this. You know, I love talking about films, filmmaking, screenwriting, and photography, or just anything, anything interesting that's going on around the world. And, you know, it's so much to talk about. And I figure, you know, while, you know, I'm walking, it's a great time to be talking to so for those of you guys who are, you know, looking for a good story to hear, you know, you, you're walking along the right path. <laughs> Sorry, could get a little cheesy, but that's just me. <laughs> so anyways, I guess um, yeah, another good thing to talk about too is uh, just what we can look forward to in uh, 20, 2022. Right now, it's uh, today is actually December first of twenty twenty one. Huh, interesting. The three ones. First episode of my uh, my uh, weekend walk, and then it's December first, and it's the twenty twenty first. Interesting. Yeah. But anyways, um, you know, I can't predict what uh, twenty twenty two is going to have in store for us. But I will say this though. Um, all we can do is be prepared. And for me, I'm really uh, prepared and ready to um, uh, do um, what I love to do. I love to do photography. I love to do uh, filmmaking. I love to write. You guys know me. I've been doing all that stuff for the longest time and it's my passion and it's my way of life. So I'm definitely looking forward to, oh, nice fountain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Looking forward to doing more of that. Um, let's see, so let's start with uh, photography. So if you guys notice on my page, uh, I did post up a new lens that I bought. It's the uh, Canon uh, 70, 70 to 200 um, uh, 2.8 aperture lens. It's a really, really, oh, hey guys, sorry. Yeah, it's a really expensive camera lens, but you know what, it's definitely gonna help me get the shots that I need to um you know uh really you know quite shine i guess you can say it's like um sorry i'm trying to be mindful too because there's people at the park and a lot of people aren't too uh you know too happy uh, too happy to see themselves on a video camera but anyways uh so yeah so with that i'm looking to do some uh, some more photography it could be either a landscape um weddings portraits I mean you name it I mean when you got someone who loves photography and who has a creative mind you know you're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of beautiful artwork you know so uh, definitely looking forward to that um, what else so uh, videography and uh, films so uh, definitely the the lens that I bought is also good for that. And also um, uh, just, you know, uh, doing regular videos. I, I love making videos, whether it be uh, music videos or tutorials. You know, I've been doing a lot of tutorial videos lately too, and those are definitely gonna be coming out uh, pretty soon too, and more coming. And so I'm looking forward to that. Um, as far as like films go, if I have the money and the time to do it, 
most definitely, you know, all you filmmakers out there know it's not easy. It's the planning, the budgeting, and it could, you know, almost be impossible. But, you know, sometimes it is, but it's going to take time. And, you know, if I can find the time, then I definitely will. But, you know, when you're juggling with photography, filmmaking, and screenwriting along with your day job and you know right now I'm in a relationship too so I'm trying to make all those work. Hey guys it's a little friends here. I'm trying to make all that work too so it's very challenging. So it's gonna have to it's gonna take a lot of balancing and a lot of uh, work to make all that happening. So um you know filmmaking it may be possible but it's gonna have to be short films obviously because you know, when I was making a short film with my nephews a long time ago um, that took like four days it took four days to um, actually get that done because you know that was the only week that we had off all together but now that everybody's back in school and work it's gonna be a hard to schedule a time to do it uh, but otherwise, it is possible. Just like I said, it's going to take some planning. And then, of course, now we got script writing. You know, I finished uh, two screenplays this year. Um, now I just need to do some uh, editing on my, uh, my scripts. And then next year, uh, I'll be shooting them out to the film festival. So I'm um, definitely excited about that, too. And I'm hoping and praying that next year... A lot more festivals will be open for like live events uh, because of COVID last year in 2020. You know, and for those of you guys watching this in the future, you don't know what COVID is, you just type in 2020 and most likely it's gonna pop up a whole bunch of results. It was a really missed opportunity last year. Uh, got selected to you know, a lot of film festivals, won a few awards at those film festivals but because like i said because of covid there was no live events we couldn't meet and network with other filmmakers and other writers out there so i'm hoping this year you know it's going to be different or sorry uh, next year 2022 it's going to be a little different um you know if i do get selected again or win whatever the case may be you know that'll give me an opportunity to go traveling as well so it's a win-win right there you know so that opens a lot of opportunities for uh you know to express my love for screenwriting uh, get some photography done out there wherever the road takes me and then uh also um shoot of course uh do some videos as well um like i said it's all uh great for documenting uh vlogging and you know it's just something to look back on because uh that's what um i'm all about too is like the memories and what better way to capture all those memories is through a camera so i can do that with either my phone or my dslrs um you know something i've been doing for a while and you know it's something that i'm going to continue to do but yeah that's pretty much um what i have planned for 2022 um i can't predict that it's gonna look good because you know we were hoping or actually we were expecting 2020 to be you know a great year for all of us but then of course look at how that turned out right so um hopefully in 2022 we can expect uh things to start to get back to normal but only time can tell and we can only be prepared for it. So, um, I guess, um, you know, I can say I'm ready. You know, I, I know, like, despite, like, what 2020 was like for me and all of us, I think, like, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna get better. And the fact that, um, I'm still doing what I love to do. You know, it's like, I think that gives me a sense of hope that, you know, sp uh, despite things closing down and canceled, I, I still kept going. And I think like, there's a lot of people out there who are the same. 
It's like all we can do is just keep going. Ooh, switch slides there. Sorry about my. But, uh, yeah. Gosh. That's another thing, too, that uh, actually came into mind. It's like just how stressful things can be. But you know what? Like, we find ways of getting over stress or getting around stress and just finding our happiness again. And a lot of that's through my friends and family. Uh, ooh, watch out these poops. Um, friends and families and my writing, my photography, and my videography. And it's like, just, it's good to have all that, you know, and that's what makes me happy. And I know a lot of people, they find ways of making themselves happy too. You know, outside of work, outside of home. I mean, just make sure they're not anything illegal, of course. But you know, for me, it's like, you know, I came to find like the, the finer things, the good things in life. You know, even despite like having to go through like, you know, a lot of uh, stress lately at work. You know, because um, lately uh, it's, there's been a lot of overtime and you know, a lot of those overtimes that I took were either involuntarily, uh, or no, voluntarily or involuntary, but majority of the times it's all involuntarily. So I, you know, I'm behind on my writings and then I'm also, um, you know, behind on just my own personal life. So, you know, I think like for, for me, it took me quite a while to finally rediscover myself because you know, I was just so caught up with like all of that work and stress and you know, I just had to, you know, just had to take off. And, you know, it took like three people to finally convince me that, you know, I needed a break. And that's when I take off to, you know, my travels to Solvang and Carmel. Got my writing done, got my, uh, my uh, video done, and then also some photographies. You know, and that was definitely uh, what I needed to get back into the fight. Ooh, and speaking of fight, I might want to regroup back because otherwise we're going to have ourselves our own fight. Uh, uh, ourselves a fight over there with the geese. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, so yeah, I think if anything, you know, 2021 is like uh, recover and rediscover. I think I'm, well, that's what I'm going to call it. Recover and rediscover. So just getting back on my feet and you know keep on moving forward to the future. But yeah, that's pretty much um pretty much all I have to say about uh, this year and then uh, about next year as well. And I'm definitely uh, looking forward to to more adventures and more challenges. Whew. I hope everybody else is as well because, you know, sitting around ain't gonna always solve our problems. So, you know, we gotta keep moving. You know, it's a survival instinct is always keep on moving. Even like these ducks over here or geeses. Oh, shoot, I think that's a pelican over there. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. So, hey, I'm gonna actually call it a day I'm going to head back to my car and actually going to go grab me something to eat. So if you guys are still uh, online, which I'm pretty sure you guys all are, especially you darn kids. <laughs> and yeah, me too. But um, yeah, I'll be online later. I'm going to be uh, posting up a uh, food vlog, actually. So uh, looking forward to that. Um, yeah, and that's something that you guys will be seeing a lot, too, is more food vlogs and... You know, just, again, one of the finer things in life that life has to offer for us. So, again, thanks for joining me on this walk. I uh, hope you guys will take another walk with me uh, uh, either tomorrow or next week for my next vac uh, I'm sorry, vacation. Yeah, I wish it was my vacation. But, no, on my next uh, weekend. So, hey, take care. Love each other. 
and we'll see you later.